let's go ahead and create the hook for the stirrup so type l enter and start the first point at the center of this arc to so click and for the second point let's type at 75 which is of course the minimum hook for 135 bend stirrups in conventional practice they use uh, 50 mm but for uh, improvement in seismic resistance it's better to minimum it to 75 and this is the minimum only for 135 degree bend if it's 90 degree bend it must be 12 times the diameter so since this is 10 mm and if the bend is 90 degrees it must be 12 centimeters okay or 120 mm and again this is a bad practice in conventional construction they only bend it 90 degrees and then provide a hook of 50 mm and that's very wrong okay uh, they usually bend it to 90 degree hook because it's much more easier to place it during installation and they avoid 135 degree which is the safest amongst the hook for stirrups they avoid this 135 degree angle because it proves difficult when installing this during fabrication of beam reinforcements so for the angle of course we cannot type 135 because from 0 135 will only be at this particular angle so 180 plus 45 it must be uh, 225 angle so after typing 75 for the hook distance let's hit the tab key and then let's type 225 for the angle enter okay and then escape so we have a uh, 45 degree line and let's offset that line to so O enter and then let's accept the distance of 10 okay for 10 mm so enter and let's offset it twice here and there okay and then twice again here below and then press escape you could just simply delete this one so e enter and our lines by the way are created under layer beam outline because let's go to la enter beam outline is set as current okay so just uh, leave it as is first so you could see the other functionalities of uh, fillet now I want you to extend this line towards this outer outline of our stirrup. So extend. So EX, enter. Then select this boundary. Enter. And then extend that line. And similarly also for this line. So these uh, two inner uh, diagonal lines, let's extend towards this boundary. So extend, select this boundary, enter. Then extend this also. And then escape. And then let's invoke the trim command. So TR. And then hit the enter key twice. One, two. Okay. So let's trim this. This one. And of course this one. And then escape. And now let's try to reinvoke the fillet command. So F. Enter. Let's uh, fillet first this one and this line okay and you may notice that the original yellow line diagonal line turned into a red line and it became part of this polyline okay so again another function of fillet from trim extend rounding off corners and then joining polylines so Fillet is a very powerful command and I normally use them together with offset. 
So, F and O are my favorite keys. And let's do the same for this diagonal line and then this one. Let's try starting to select this, okay? So, F, enter, and then select this first, and then this one. It doesn't matter, okay? It will carry on the polyline property, okay? So, the polyline property of this rectangle is beam stirrups as a layer. And it carried with it the property associated with that layer. And so, just press K. Then, let's just extend this one. So, extend, enter to close that uh, gap. And let's try to close this. So, just create a line. So, L, enter. And close that. Okay. So, now, let's use the fillet command to make this match the uh, layer properties of this line. And then, automatically join it to this line. So, fillet would do that best. Okay. So, F, enter. And then, radius, of course. Let's turn that to 0. So, R, enter. 0, enter. And, of course, select this and this one. Then, fillet again. Then, this one and this one. And now, this is one entity. Okay? Or one object. And, let's uh, finish the other hook. Of course, this needs a curvature also as this. Okay? So, let's uh, create a circle first. So, circle, enter. And, from the center of this arc, of course, towards the quadrant. Okay? Make sure that it's towards the quadrant. Then, snap to that quadrant. And then, let's trim. Okay? So, TR. And then, select this boundary and then this boundary. Enter and then, delete this circle. Okay? And again, there's still a circle there. So, trim again. And then, hit the enter key twice. One, two. And... Let's select on this, okay? Take note, there's a badge that appears. Uh, double squares, okay? On the cursor. So, click. And then, you could select between the arc or the polyline. Of course, we need to trim the arc, okay? So, select the arc. And escape. Select now the arc. It's already trimmed appropriately. And let's select it, okay? And this time, let's put it now to the proper layer. And then, let's uh, fillet. Okay, so fillet, enter, and then select. So, this and this must be joined. So, J, enter. So, it become one entity also. And let's uh, finish this one. So, L, enter, and then click. And then, fillet again to join and make them of the same property. Then fill it again. And there we have now our stirrup. Okay? And last thing to do so that they would uh, become one group is to select them all. So I will window select the stirrup geometries. And then right click. And from the shortcut menu, I'll go to group and select group. Okay? So I could select them as one group. Then just press escape. We are now ready to create the beam bars. And of course, that's the easiest uh, to create. So circle, enter, of course, from the center. And then towards the quadrant. So click. And let's go to LA, enter. And let's double click on beam bars to make it current. And then close. So let's select first our circle and then... Place it to the appropriate uh, layer, then escape. Okay, so let's select this one and create uh, copies of it. Okay, so CO, enter. Let's specify the base point. Of course, the best base point for it is the center. I don't like to specify a distance, so I'll just select the option for array. Okay, so I'll type A, enter, and AutoCAD prompts you to specify number of items. Of course, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so let's type 4. Enter. I don't want, again, to specify specific distance. 
So, I'll just use again the option for fit. Okay, so I'll type F. Enter. So, from that center towards this center. Okay, so center of this arc. And then click. And then escape. Okay, I could continue to uh, array that uh, down. But let's just use another command. So, select this four circles and then copy again enter and this time let's select from this quadrant so click and we need to create this uh, beam bars okay and normally this is around the uh, two inches so we need to move it uh, 50 mm for two inches plus of course the diameter of the bar so we type uh, 70 but make sure that your ortho is toggled on and then drag your cursor towards the direction where you want it to be placed and then type 70 enter and then just press escape and let's try to measure so distance enter from this uh, quadrant to this quadrant it's 50 mm so that's two inches so that's okay and take note this is the problem when installing 135 bend hooks okay it uh, interferes with the main bars of the beam and it proves very difficult and by the way this must be alternately positioned when you install your stirrups onto your uh, beam fabrication okay so this must be alternate from maybe this is the first and then the next uh, stirrup must have the hook here the next stirrup must have its hook placed below etc etc okay it must not be placed on the same location for safety purposes and lastly we need to create the bottom bars okay so we have eight top bars and we have four bottom bars for this beam so this is a uh, beam cross section at the support or near the support so meaning this is uh, within the one-fourth distance from the face of the column to a one-fourth distance of the beam length okay and let's create the bottom bar so let's select again the stop uh, bars only the four and then let's use the mirror command okay so m i for mirror okay and then enter and let's use the midpoint as our uh, mirror line to that midpoint okay and then uh, erase source objects of course no so just hit enter and there we completed now our beam cross section at support now to create the beam detail at midpoint let's just copy this one so select co enter and from this towards this point enter and then let's select this new copy and let's mirror it okay so mirror enter and from this midpoint Towards this midpoint will be my mirror line and erase source objects. Of course, yes, this time. Okay, so yes. And here we have now a beam cross section at midpoint. Okay, so we have here eight bottom bars and four top bars at midpoint. And at support, we have eight top bars and four bottom bars at support 